Welcome to beautiful Sicily. We have rented a house here near Catania and uh, I thought this area would be a great place to do a workout. So I prepared a sit workout, a sprinting interval training for you to do with me here in this beautiful garden. The only equipment you will need is an uh, exercise mat. I actually just have a towel here and I got my timer here and we're going to work with the work frame of 40 seconds on and 20 seconds for the next exercise. We're going to do two pulse exercises right after each other. Each exercise we're going to do four times. So that's going to be eight pulse exercises in all. Then we're going to move on to two strength exercises, two different of course, and so on until we finish the full workout. Of course, we're going to start with a warm up and we're going to finish this workout with a stretch. So you're going to bring your gear and uh, we're just going to go and I will of course guide you all the way through. Do remember that it, this is all about intensity. So when we do the pulse exercises, you are going to focus on getting short of breath. You want to push that intensity so you feel that heart rate beating as a drum. So uh, let's go and I of course will guide you all the way through. So we are ready. We've got to start off with a warm up. So starting out by stepping from side to side and we're gonna engage our core our pelvic floor and of course stay up in a nice position so pushing up and pulling back down again moving arms in front of us doing some rotation around our spine and keep that engagement in your core and pelvic floor do remember the breathing inhaling and exhaling and that's especially important when we're going to do the sit workout so the sprinting interval training where we are going to focus on getting short of breath we're going to pull one heel up to a kickback so from side to side do some contraction between your shoulder blades and stay up nice and tall so warming up the knees and please do some movement in your ankle joint as well bring it back and now we're going to do eight on right so stay here eight seven six five four three two and opposite so bring that heel up and four three two coming back to single we're going to move our arms in half at a circle in front of us so open up and i hope you by now feel affected on your breathing now we have our arms up above shoulder level so bring them from one side to the opposite stepping down with that toe again squeezing and we're going to pull those arms on each side of our hips to get connected with our core bring it in front and we're going to do this for eight seven six five four three two and stepping straight back to a reverse lunges not bending our knees that much but just a little tap with our feet behind still pushing and pulling back now we're gonna stay on our right for eight eight seven six five four three two opposite leg pushing back two three four five six seven single back so pushing it back right and left so try to stay in that upright position keep your chin in and chest is up pushing leg out to the side or pushing and pull it back again let's hit it for another eight seven six five four three and come into center moving arms up and back up on our toes and reaching for the sky or the ceiling wherever you are maybe you're not as fortunate as me to be here in this beautiful italian island and if you, have, if you haven't been you should absolutely consider coming 300 days of sun every year so that's a climate you want to hit for especially if you like me live in Denmark with sometimes lots of rain and lots of wind hands on our thighs and we're gonna push it back and come back up to a straight position make sure you're opening your hips so a good idea could be to just push your knees a little bit 
out to the side as you go down. Keep that straight alignment and your chin is in. We're gonna do this for another eight. Squeezing your thighs, squeezing your glutes, get them into work. You know all about this if you've been here before, the powerhouse supporting everything in center of our body. Three more, three, up we go. And for the final two, and we're gonna stay put down here. And we're gonna do a retraction between our shoulder blades. So as you look at your knees, your knees are absolutely behind your toes. You've got to pull it back and front, squeezing, pushing it back, warming up the more upper part of your spine for four and three, two and right hand on thigh. And we've got to push it over opposite side, reaching, get that nice dynamic stretch before we in just a few minutes are gonna hit it off with the workout itself. So stay into that straight line. Make sure your belly is not popping out. So push that belly button in towards your spine. And two more on each side, reaching. Feel a nice stretch around your shoulder area. One more on each. And hand stays put on thighs. So we're gonna roll it down and up again so lifting chest up doing extension in your lower back reaching up again inhaling and exhaling and i hope i forgot to say that in the min beginning but i hope you got some water as well i especially need water water here in a nice nice warm sunny day two more bring it back and up again and one final one to go all the way up and shake it out get some water and of course you can get water along the way so first we're going to do the first exercise is going to be high knees and we're going to do that for four rounds and then we're going to continue with some narrow jumps for four rounds and when we've done that we're going to do two body strength exercises so that's kind of a recovery period before we're going to hit it off for the other part of the sit workout so as mentioned in the beginning, I have my timer here. I promise not to cheat you. We're gonna work for the 40 seconds and the 20 seconds in between. So all you have to think about right now is four rounds of high knees. You're gonna do it best possible as always. You're just gonna push it as hard as you can. If you're new to this kind of workouts, I suggest you just go a little bit more easy and I will show you modification along the way. But if you're all old to this game, you're just gonna push it as hard as possible. So my count, my timer here is gonna go on. No counting down for 10 as usually, but we're just gonna hit it off. So get ready for the high knees. Round number one, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna bring those knees up. We're gonna lean a little bit back and we're gonna keep that chin in. If this is too much, you can go with a bounce in between and you're gonna push it. So maybe if this is new for you, this is absolutely enough. You are gonna hit it. You can also start by doing for 20 seconds with the high knees and then go a little less hard. 15 seconds, so bring those knees up. Inhaling, make sure your arms are in the game as well. Five more seconds. Inhale and exhale. And we have a 20 second recovery period now. You should be affected on your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. So ready for round number two of the high knees. And that's gonna happen by five seconds, four, three, and let's go. Bring those knees up, inhaling and exhaling. So get that air in nose mouth wherever as long as you just feel and sound like me so that should be <sighs> breathing hard by now you know we have two more rounds then we're gonna go to a another pulse exercise keep moving here for another 10 seconds i'll do the modification and you can always do some lightly jogging on the spot four three two and recovery for 20 seconds if you don't feel like you need the 20 seconds of recovery 
you should put the push the intensity up a bit. Eight seconds for round number three. Four, three, two, and let's go. Round number three with the high knees. One to go in just a few seconds. Bring it up. Put those games, arms into game. Bring them up. So if you go like this, you could start by moving your arms a bit higher. Everything above shoulder level, push the intensity up. Keep moving. 18 seconds. Feel it in your chest for the final five. And recovery. One more of the high knees. And we are ready to go in seven seconds. Three, two, and one. So final high knees. Bring it up. Round number four here. Inhaling and exhaling. Push it, push it, push it. You should feel it by now. And do remember, when I'm guiding you, I put my intensity so I can speak. If you are there all by yourself, or maybe with a good friend, you should not be able to speak at all as me. But I'm here guiding you. Five more seconds. Bring it up and back. Yes. Ready to do the narrow jumps. So you're going to lift up the heel and you're going to go down and push it up. And we're going to do that for four rounds. Round number one, seven seconds. Shoulders are back, stay up in a nice position here. Three, two, and one. So round number one with the narrow jumps. Keep that chin in. And you can do some boxing on the spot. If that's better for you, as long as you promise me and yourself that you are affected on that breathing. It's all about the intensity. If we keep the intensity, we don't need to work out for hours and hours. Keep it short, keep it hard, keep it efficient and effective. You know, if you've been here before, I said it a lot of times. Five more seconds. Inhale, yes, here we are. Ready for round number two. So when we completed three more rounds for this, we are gonna go for the body weight exercises. Seven seconds. Inhaling, exhaling, three, two, and let's go. So I promise not to cheat you around that time frame. Chin is in, inhale. I prefer to inhale as I go up. I feel there's more space in my lungs and exhale as I go down, but find your way. What works best for you? Bring it up and down and look for that intensity. 15 seconds more, two rounds to go. So bring it up. Push your buttocks back. Yes. And we are ready for round number three out of the four. I hope you're sweating like me. It's not only just because it's sunny here. I am also pushing myself. Five seconds. Ready to hit it off. Two and let's go. Bring it up. Buttocks back. Push it, push it, push it. And you can do a little bit of a talk test. If it's possible for you to yell at your husband or your wife, or you could do something else by saying something, you should put yourself into a harder place to get the most effective push on that met metabolism and your hormone system. So we wanna get short of breath, kick out all sorts of good things going when we get up and breathing hard. Five seconds. And one left to go. So we are gonna go with the 
final round of the narrow jump. So push it as hard as possible. You had seven seconds left. I promise you a bit of water right after this. Three, two, and push it. So if you don't feel like you need a break right after this one, and you can continue for many, many, many more rounds, you wanna push up that intensity. So we have 25 seconds left for this one. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, feel your way. <sighs> you gonna do it? I know it, I'm here with you. And we're gonna do this one. <sighs> and we only have eight seconds left. Keep chin in, keep the quality. <sighs> yes, get water. And we're gonna continue with some push-up. Four rounds of push-up and four rounds of a back extension. We're gonna do the same exercise, four rounds, just as we have done with the pulse exercises. Yep, you've got some water. And you do know what? You could do push-up all kind of ways. So I'm just gonna start and we're gonna do I will show you modification. So 40 seconds of push up, no countdown besides mine. Three, two, and one. So hands right underneath your shoulder belt. You're gonna push it down and you're gonna bring it up. If this is too much, you can go down with straight knees, push your knees down and up again, and then continue here. But you can also stay put here and do the push up on your knees. The most important thing is that you are actually do the flexion in your elbows and straightening to get in touch with your triceps, your shoulders, the muscle in between your shoulder blades. You're gonna engage your core and we have three, two and recovery for 20 seconds. So you don't want to stay up here and go like this. Much better to go down and get that chest down to the ground eight seconds more and three rounds left four three two and go so arms are in chin is in you are engaging with your core so try to imagine you do this with no top on you want to keep that stomach close to your spine push it down and you can always go with like five or ten up here and then you can do the modification down here and then come back up again and of course you can continue 10 seconds on your knees instead so make sure that you feel your weight the muscle and the mind connection four seconds two and in that recovery period you want to get away from your arms and you have two more rounds to go And you are gonna continue here with a five seconds. Round number three out of four. Engaging and bring it down and up again. So you can often see a very, very many different kind of ways to do a push up. I prefer to bring my hands in to target my triceps. I know a lot of people do it out here. It's not comfortable for my shoulders. Sometimes I do it in some of my session to target my chest a little bit more, but I wanna target my triceps. So I try to keep my arms in, and I do know it's a lot harder than being out here, but you wanna focus on the back of your arms. Especially if you're a woman like me, you wanna hit those arms instead of as much as on your chest. Yes, recovery for 20 seconds. And one round to go. Remind yourself to keep your core in the game. Three, two, and one. Bring it down and up. Squeezing in with your arms. No hyperextension in your lower back. You want to stay in a plank position. And the only thing that goes from the plank position is you doing the flexion and extension in your arms. 
bring it up and down. If you feel your way at that you're doing that hip extension, much better to go down on your knees and continue. Four, three, two, and have a little bit of a break. And we are ready to do the back extension. So lifting ourselves up, 10 more seconds. Oopsie. Yeah, that's the great thing about being out of the nature. You have all different kind of things. Let's go flying in your face. Maybe it's because I'm sweating. And bring it up, chest is up, nose pointing down. Inhaling and exhaling. Squeeze your glute as well. So bring your legs up as well so you get that full engagement on the back of your body. Squeezing between shoulder blades. 10 more seconds. And have a recovery here. Ready for round two. Ten seconds. Let's go with three, two, and one. Bring it up. Up with those legs. Squeezing glutes. Don't forget about your pelvic floor. Nose pointing down. So you're not going to start the movement by flipping your head. You're going to stay into that straight line. Ten more seconds. Final two rounds. Lots of water when you work out outside. And that's a great thing. You can do this workout everywhere. Four seconds. Three, two, and up we go. Squeezing. one more after this one and then we come back to the pulse exercises so bring it up and slowly down again squeezing feel your way connect with your butt no butt but just the butt up we go four and Recovery. Fourth round. Get ready. Ten more seconds. And we're going to go within four seconds. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Final round for the back extension. So make sure you get some air in. Inhaling and exhaling because you are going to need some uh, pulse and you're going to need some heart breathing in just a few seconds when we're going to go back for the actually sit workout where we're going to push it hard you have 18 seconds more left here up we go and bring it down inhaling exhaling 10 more seconds you can always go down here better late than never with your arms down the side three two and break so you're just gonna go and have a quick water and we're gonna start out with the plank split hop doing that for four rounds beautiful I know you are fighting out there but a good thing is that we are doing this fight together to live long and healthy and happy so ready for the plank split hop you're gonna go down on your arms you're gonna engage with your core, look straight down, and you're gonna go as hard as you can here for the four rounds. So we are 
hitting it off you got water and you are ready if you don't prefer to do this plank split hop maybe a shoulder issue or a neck issue you can come up and you can do some jacks instead so we are ready three two and one bring it out and bring it in so this is not a pulse exercise so this is if this is what you're capable of doing because you're in, placed in a position like this much better for you to come up here and if this is too much you can go with that heel in and go on here it doesn't matter the most important thing is that you get affected and you're pushing yourself the best possible we have another 12 seconds no hyperextension in your lower back keep that core engaged four and three two and you can come back down here to recover and in you go inhaling exhaling 10 more seconds five seconds to get settled to get ready three two and and let's go push it out or you can go like 20 seconds here and then you can come back up standing and doing the jacks this is kind of a jacks just in another position and of course not using your arms so bring it out and in again squeezing inhale exhale pushing it and you do know you have your time frame you can work as hard as possible for you that might not be the same as for me so you're just going to do the best you within those 40 seconds seven seconds left don't give up and we have a break much better to do an alternative a modification of an exercise than just stay still or do nothing 10 seconds ready for round number three out of four and then we have another pulse exercise and then we're going to end up with two new body weight exercises let's go maybe you can hear the sound of my beaver squeezing bring it out bring it in again inhale and exhale and back to when we did the push-up do think about it this way you are doing this with no t-shirt on you want to keep that engagement 20 seconds left keep moving 10 seconds squeezing shoulders away from your ears and you want to go for three two and recover one more and then we're going to stand up doing the final pulse exercise actually the final one for today's session then you've been doing a great job seven seconds left three two and let's go bring it in and bring it out inhale and exhale so this is the final round for this one we are so close and in a, just a few seconds we're going to move on standing doing some jump squat you have 20 seconds left and if i went close to the camera i will be able to hear you breathing hard i will be able to hear your heart beating like a drum so push it as good as possible five seconds you can manage i know three two and here we are ready for the jump squat four rounds of jump squat good position between your feet jumping up bring it down again so 10 seconds before we are allowed to go and you should feel that you need the recovery time three two and round number one bring it up bring it back so you're going to push your buttocks back you're going to try to go down for a 90 degree in your knee and if this is too much you can do a totally body extension you can go up pushing your arms up above because as you go up as mentioned before you are going to elevate that heart rate I prefer when I'm moving up, jumping up, to move my arms back. I feel like I get this push off when I do so. Try not to go like this. Head down, buttocks up. You wanna go down with that buttocks, five seconds. So you can feel it in your thighs and you can feel it in your glute muscle. Yes, have a recovery here. That was round number one. 
three more to go. Inhale and exhale. Eight seconds. Ready to get settled in. Four, three, two, and bring it up. And back again. Like I said in the beginning, you can do like 10 counts here and then you can go back in for a totally body extension because it's all about you and where you are in your fitness journey. And you know, your muscle, your tendons, your full body needs to get used to this kind. And again, if you're all to this, you are going to push it the hardest possible. Let's go. 10 seconds. Keep chest up. Engage with your core and of course your pelvic floor. And make some noise recovery. It's always good to make some noise when you are breathing hard. Round number three out of the four. Five seconds. Shoulders are back. Three, two, and bring it up. So get that butt down, get that head up, stay in a straight position so you can feel the muscle along your spine working. So hit it off for another 20 seconds and then you have one final pulse exercise to go. Two body weight strength exercises and then you complete it. Let's go one way or another. Just do something and you can always continue by jogging on the spot. Four, three, two, and here we are. Yes. One more round. Yep. Getting ready. Five seconds. Four, three, and push it final round here so you are gonna inhale think about it this way every time you inhale new energy is coming in exhale and get rid of the worn out used oxygen so push it and pulling it best possible quality 20 seconds keep a nice engagement here in your core bring it back and bring it up and you're gonna hit it for another 10 seconds. I promise you, you will feel great when you hit the shower. Five, four, three, two, and you have water. And then we're gonna continue with some oblique works. We're gonna do a body twist. So we're gonna go back into a plank position and we are gonna do the twisting around our spine, engaging our oblique muscle. I'm telling you, it's only like, 9 30 in the morning here and it is really hot hot beautiful blue sky but it doesn't matter because if i were inside doing the workout i will be sweating anyways so go into a plank position we're gonna do the body twist straight position here pushing hip down engaging with your oblique muscle and if this is too much go on your knees and you can do it and you can also come back here and you can do some work out there from that position instead. Three, two, and one. Full round. So a good, nice, tight core. Pushing that hip down, shoulder away, and squeezing. So you can feel your entire core working with you. Inhaling and exhale. You can always put your hands on top and rest of your neck squeezing back down 10 more seconds keep on for four seconds and have a nice break here three more rounds to go nice with a little bit of a clouded right now makes it just a tiny bit a little more comfortable being outside here in the sun four seconds round number two three and let's go 40 seconds here 
squeeze and bring it back up. And you can, as mentioned in the beginning, go down on knees or you can just turn around as shown to begin with. So you could do this instead if you feel it's better for you. You can all, of course always alternative between those two exercises. Just keep moving, that's the most important thing. And 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and halfway. Just two more rounds for the body twist. Shoulders away. Get ready to engage and bring it up here in round number three. Three, two, and let's go. Push it down. So try not to go all the way down here. Stay up in a good straight alignment. Down with your hip and back to center. So you think about your spine as in water level and you're twisting around using those oblique muscles and of course your full core. 10 more seconds. you have done completed all your pulse exercises for this session have a break and one more right after this one we have some glute work four rounds for the frog lift and some stretching ready to go in five four three and bring that hip down remind yourself this is your final round for the body twist. Squeezing. I like the sun, but it's great to have a little bit of a cloud right now. Keep moving, 15 seconds. Eight seconds left. Yes. Moving on to the frog lift. So hands underneath your hips, flexion in your knees, look down, and we're gonna reach up, feet towards the ceiling or the sky, and you gotta feel your glutes for every single movement. Four, three, two, and bring them up. Back down again, squeezing, and don't forget about your pelvic floor. You might as well do that as well. So squeezing, bring it up. If it's too much with both legs, you can go single leg. Or some people prefer to have straight knees and do it here, both legs or single leg. So if this is kind of bothering your lower back, first of all, engage your core, but second, you can turn around and you can do some glute bridge instead. So bring it up and down again and get the same contraction in your butt and break your pelvic floor. And we are ready for the second round. You can also, if, if it's more comfortable for you to have your hands here, I just feel it's better for me to have it underneath my hips. Three, two, and up we go. Squeeze slowly down. Feel it all the way up. And remember to get even squeeze in both your glutes. So you want to bring them up, feel it in both right and left leg. And down again. 15 seconds. Ease off your neck, nose pointing down. Yes, and a break, halfway, final two rounds. It's good to shuffle things up a bit. Sometimes that you do a pulse and a strength exercise. Sometimes you do three rounds, sometimes you do four rounds. Four, three, two, and here we go. Connect 
connecting with your core, your pelvic floor, your glutes. Some prefer to push their feet towards each other and some prefer to have them with some distance. Try to do and find your way. 10 seconds and one round left. Yes, 20 seconds recovery. One more and then we're gonna do the stretching. Just a short stretch so you get everything in one workout. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and push it up. Or you can go with the straight knees. What makes it best for you? Just as long as you feel it in your butt. Bring it on for a final 15 seconds. Always nice to feel it in your buttocks. Five seconds, four, three, two, and that's it. Yep, spring your butt back and get a nice stretch in both glutes and around your shoulders, lower back. Nice, good stretch here. Hands underneath here and go back down here or Maybe you want to stay put here, all depending on the mobility of your back. It doesn't matter if you do straight arms here. It doesn't matter if your hip can't touch the ground. You can just ease off. Some people like to shake it out a bit. And come up for a sitting position. Right leg straight, left leg in front. Up with a nice straight alignment here. Bring your opposite arm of your knee and bring that knee towards yourself get a nice stretch in your glute easing off your shoulders and you completed a full body workout doing the high intensity to boosting your metabolism doing some strength work to keep that muscle tissue alive and kicking it, it's a, a quite a lot more burn over calories to have muscle tissue than fat tissue opposite leg Bring it up and shoulders down. Try to feel your sitting bones to that surface. Shoulders back down. Yes, come back up to standing. Relax in your upper body, ease off your knees great easing off here so thank you for joining me hit the subscribe button it's all for free if you haven't done it share this session with somebody you love and until i see you next time do remember to stay happy healthy and strong take good care bye